Hey guys, it's Deadpool here, and um, it's time for my what if of what if Naruto was the reincarnation of me, the, your best favorite character out there, Deadpool, for part three. Wait, wait, wait. There's a door. Door opens. Wait a minute. Hey, get the fuck off my recording screen. Oh shit. Oh shit, I gotta go, guys. <clears throat> After kicking Deadpool out of well, my recording screen and uh, kicking him back into his his world. I that is not the actual the what if I'll do that later. Deadpool comes out of nowhere. Say, what do you mean? Aren't you doing part three of my series? No, I do that later. I'm going to continue on for part four of this what if. Fuck you. Okay, fine. Don't forget about my what if. I'm definitely gonna forget about his what if. But not the point. Uh, let me go into what if Asta. Oh, let me first say here, here. This is a lot of tale. Uh, let me go into what if Asta was a descendant of Samurai Part 4. Now, I did Part 3 a while ago. The reason why I did Part 3 for only 10 minutes is because I had it to go somewhere and kind of yeah, yada yada, whatever. But of course, I had it to go do something and then uh, yeah, I came back or whatever. So I'm going to continue on with the part I kind of left off. But yeah. So let me begin that part. No recaps because it's been like a couple of minutes since I, not a couple of minutes, a couple of hours since I uploaded this. But not the point. Let me go into, well, this what if and yeah. So, we go into Asta trying to cut down Yuno. And Yuno is trying to dodge and run away from Asta since he sees Asta like a madman and trying to cut him down. Asta says, come here. Yuno runs away, but yeah. This is where, well. Everyone is kind of seeing this as a funny situation, but the sword sister literally managed to stop, well, Asta from actually stabbing Yuna with the sword. And yes, she had to kind of use a water attack, like water and heavenly punch from the sky to punch at Asta. Asta cut through that shit, stops his with a cause, trying to stab at Yuna, but continues to sheep his blade back. This is where Yuna realized that he is fine. He's thankful for her sister Lily. But of course... After seeing this, that seeing that Asa is not gonna hesitate in trying to stab him, uh, he kind of explains to everyone and what is happening. A bunch of elves got reincarnated and incarnated. He is here, and of course, it worked well. He just talks to all of them. Of course, it worked well. He's just telling them that everyone needs to kind of hide out or kind of go to safety. While he needs to get to the capital and stop the Alps, but yeah, he only came here just to check on everyone. And this is where, well, he then looks at Asta, stands right in front of Asta. And this is where Asta says, okay, everyone, then let's go. The first, Nosh, Akka, and uh, Bushido, let's go and try to protect around the village, okay? This is where, well, Asta turns around from you know, that's when he was talking to those three disciples. This is where, you know, says, you're not going anywhere, Asta. I actually want your help. Asta flips him off, just not giving a shit. He he gives him the backflip, like basically not a backflip. Mostly he throws him the middle finger behind him, like he doesn't even look at uh, what's it called, Yuno. You know, says Asta, you're strong. Why won't you just help the capital? Asta turns around and says, "Oh, why don't help them?" Hmm. I don't care. If you really want my opinion, I just don't care about the capital. The capital can go fuck off for all I care. Truly, it's not something I really care about. You care about and trying to become the Wizard King. So go fucking do it, you know? You can definitely become Wizard King. Only if you fucking try and not uh, annoy me to fucking help you. This is where, well. Father Orsi's kind of like tells what's it called Yuna and Asta that he got this, he would definitely protect the village and all that. And this is where, well, uh, he tells Asta that he can definitely go to the capital. Asta looks at Father Orsi's and just says, Really? You're too old. You'll probably easily break down in only a couple of steps. This is where Father Orsi says, Really? You still have no respect for your elders? No, I have respect for elders. Elders that might be samurais. Elder samurais. Any other elders, I don't give a shit. I don't care. That's too work. Well, Father Ortiz is saying, what does it take you for you to kind of 
I respect others, Asta. Nothing. I don't care. People are weak and they should just go away from me. I'm not going to respect those who are weak. Be strong, stand on your two own feet, and fucking fight instead of asking for help. It's not stupid. Oh, well, don't be stupid. Also, you know we are the same fucking age. And guess what? You're blessed with mana. I can see that because you have some kind of goldenish aura on you. Even though I have no mana, I can sense it. Well, you've seen if you have mana or not. But not the fucking point. Do it on your own. That's where Asta pokes him in the head. That's where Asta walks past him. And not even towards the village. He's actually walking towards the capital. That's where, well... Father Orsi's kind of smiles a little bit. Because seeing... Even though you know... Even though... Not you know. Asta seems to not care about anyone. He then just realized that maybe he cares about someone. Yeah, the only person that he cares in the capital, or not even in the capital, in the entire, what's it called, magic kind of, uh, like if there was a certain kind of group that he kind of cares about, that would be kind of yummy. The only person that he cares about. Yeah, he's not rolling, he's not nothing, he just knows that Yami is strong and powerful, but it's the only other person to talk to, but yeah. That's what, well, I was just saying, he kind of just says, Go by, you know. You can go to the capital. I'm going to go see on the Black Bull captain. Pretty much my captain to see if he's okay or not. That's the only thing I'm going to the capital. Anything else, nobles and royals can die for all I give a shit. That's the word. You know, I was smiling for a second realizing that Asta was like going to the capital. But after hearing those words, he kind of cringes. Realizing that Asta isn't doing this for the right reason. Like helping people. He's just going to see his cat and still fucking alive. And this is where you know then gives him a question. What happened if your cat is dead? Then there's only one thing to do. Asa turns around. Not help anyone. Truly I don't care. That means I am no longer into the black force. Requiring to help anyone. Meaning that I don't give a shit. This is where you know freezes. And here's the words that Asta are say, is saying. Truly, Asta doesn't give a shit. This is where, well, everyone kind of sat it a little bit. But this is where, well, his three disciples decided to come along with Asta and saying, We're coming along. We're going to see Captain Yami also. This is where, well, Asta, like, smiles at them and says, Then let's go. This is where, well, they're walking and this is where, well, they start just kind of walking towards the kind of Black Bull hideout, but yeah. We go into the Black Bull hideout. This is where, well, no one actually came. To, well, I mean, a, one person came to see on the Black Bulls to see if they're okay. And that is Junko. Junko says, everyone, are you okay? This is where, well, she kind of sees Gordon, Gray, a oh woman, not Gordon, Gray. <clears throat> yeah, Gordon, Gray, and even Henry. Of course, Zora was, what's it called, with Junko. He, because he's also a part of the Black Bulls. As if it's right now with the others kind of just flying with them. Mostly on the silver, mostly on the Mercury uh, Ego, but yeah. This is what, well, everyone is kind of uh, talking very fast. And this is where Junko managed to kind of see what happened. Of course, this is where she understands. This is where, like, she then sees a garden all destroyed and says, Oh no, Charmy, if she hears about this, she's going to be pissed. This is what, oh. We go into Charmy appearing saying, Who did this? Her magic power exploded. This is where Junko says, uh, From my understanding from Gordon Gray and Henry telling me that, uh, what's called? Ghosh did this. This is where, well, Charmy says, I see. Then I'll make food. This is where, well, the, what's it called? Three, um, you know, the three people, uh, uh Radies, uh, Sally, and even what's it called? That one dude, I keep forgetting his name. Uh, you want, I'm gonna call him Van Vanden. You want, I'm gonna call him just Vanden because I don't remember his actual name. Of course, they're all there, and this is where. Well, they say that we want revenge, so we will help you, Black Bulls. This is where. Well, all of them are confused. Junko looks at Sally. Sally looks at Junko, and Sally just, just kind of lifts her, her shoulders up and saying, "I don't know." This is where. Well, Junko sighs and says, "Great, the crazy fuckers here." 
This is where radio station. What the hell did he just say? This is where. Well, uh, four people walk past some trees, and of course, what Junko kind of looks up from the kind of side. This is where. Well, who comes from the trees is basically Asta. Asta says, "What the hell?" Of course, behind Asta is four. Well, I mean, not four, six people in total, and that is Luck, uh, Magna, and even what's it called, Vanessa, and with his four disciples. So not six, eight, eight, not seven, seven. Uh, well, not seven disciples. Mostly four. Uh, yes, it's six disciples. Uh, wait, no, it's six people in total. So I was for some reason thinking there's four people. No, okay, I'm just fucking idiotic. Okay. So of course it's just three disciples, uh, Nash, Akka, and even uh, Bushro. Of course they're all at the age of nine years old. Well, mostly Bushro is actually ten, but yeah. This is where well. Vanessa and Magna and Luck are kind of behind them. And of course, they were, well, they're only behind them because, well, Asta kind of helped them with the situation with Luck. Luck was actually trying to kill Magna if Asta didn't appear and just kicked him right in the stomach. This is where, well, Luck was knocked the fuck out. His, the wind was fucking taken out of his mouth. And he got kicked. Of course, this is where the uh, elf that was in luck trying to attack Asta and trying to show that he's faster than Asta showed that he was no nothing in compare against Asta's speed. Asta even did give him a fucking huge slash through the chest. This is where well, the elf kind of knocked down and passed out after a while. But yeah, of course, this is where, well, Asta says, where's Yami? Where, where's Captain Yami? This is where, well, Junko says, uh, you're Asta. This is where, well, uh, Radio says, who the hell are you? This is where Sally says, ah, he looks like a samurai. This is where, uh, Vanden, or whatever I call him again. Va Valen? I think we want to call him Valen. Valen says, who are you? This is where Asa says, don't know who the three fuck you people are, because you're truly not from the Black Force. But I don't care. Where's Captain Yami, though? You, girl with blondish hair and dullish blue eyes. Your name is Junko, right? This is where Junko says, yeah, and your name is Asta. Asta says, yeah, whatever. Where's Captain Yami at? When Junko says, I don't fucking know, ask Gordon uh, Gray and even, what's it called, Henry here. Now, of course, Junko knows about Henry a little bit because she kind of met him, but she had to just stay far away since uh, Henry can absorb her magic on accident way too much. But yeah, this is where Asta walks up to them, and this is where, well, uh, Henry talks slow, but also can understand him. And this is where Gordon whispers and Grace kind of just mumbles most of the time. This is where Asa says, I see. So, Captain Yami decides to go towards the capital, or mostly the Golden Dawn. Hmm. Why was that happening? I don't care. I'll talk to him later to find where he's at, truly. This is where, well, Junko says, you understand them? It's hard enough to even understand what the fuck they're saying half the damn time. I barely understand Gray, Gordon, and Henry. Henry talks slow, but I usually understand him a little bit better. They managed to say one word, and i that's the only thing I managed to understand from them. Asta just says, fucking listen with your ears, then. Junko says, I do. She walks up to Asta, and of course, she's right now in his face, very angry. This is where Junko is a height of, well, 5'8". Asta is a height of 5'8", also. Now, this is where Asta says, Get out of my face for a second, or do you want to get slashed down? This is where, huh? Junko says, Do it, then, you bastard. Her grimoire activates because she's right now angry. Her emotions are kind of going hang, uh, haywire, and of course, motions, uh, well, she controls the motions most of the time. Her magic is motion, uh, motion manipulation, and of course, she can control her emotions and she will get power for it, or she can control someone else's emotions and kind of either they have sadness or happiness. And it affects her, and she will get powered by it also. Like a power boost, but yeah. This is where she's right now angry, and her hair is kind of going red color a little bit. This is where, well, her eyes are kind of going a little bit pinkish. Like a very lightish pinkish. This is where, well, also says, huh, whatever. So, well, uh, are you supposed to be, like, the vice captain now? I guess, since you are much longer into what to call the Black Bulls, you should be called vice captain. What do you want from us to do? This is where Junko says, Wait, what? Aren't you supposed to be the vice captain? Asa says, No. The only reason Yami only told me that was because he wanted to really, really have, 
was kind of blackmail over the kind of uh, Golden Dawn to kind of bully them. But yeah, I'm not truly vice captain. This is what what Junko says. I see. But why the hell do I get it? Well, truly from what's it called. I guess since you much. Mm, I guess just because you're younger than me. Junko says I am. Actually, how old are you anyway? Junko kind of was about to keep screaming at Asa. And this is where Asa says, 15, why? Junko says, I'm 15, Asa, you idiot. Wait, you're not older than me? No. This is what, oh. Junko says, huh, I thought you were older than me. Why would I be older than you? <sighs> Who is the actually oldest here and doesn't actually talk quiet? This is what, oh. Charmy says, that would be me. This is what, well. Asa says, do you know how to lead or anything? Ni no. This is where, well, Asa says, who else does know how to lead? Rady says, me? This is where Asa says, other than someone else that's random from the black boats, because I can swear to God, I can see that you don't have a black bull rope. This is where Rady says, you neither. Motherfucker, I don't need one. Unless you want me to cut your head off, I'll be gladly to do that. This is where, well, Rady says, Grr. he kind of growls and glares at Asa. Magna says, I can't leave. This is where Luck says, yeah, me neither. Zora says, I'm too fucking lazy to uh, lead anyone. Vanessa says, uh, no. This is where, well, Gordon whispers, say no. Gray mumbles, say no. And Henry says, no. <laughs> Asa says, for the love of God, do you people, oh, for fuck's sake, whatever. Tell me your magic fast enough. He points at Henry. Henry says, my magic is building magic. I will be able to manipulate this building to transform it into anything. Us say, cool, make a bowl. This is where Henry says, I need mana first. Charmy says, here, here's the bowl of uh, food. This is where, well, uh, Henry eats it. And of course, he's getting his magic back. So, of course, he starts making the bowl. And of course, it where, well, uh, also kind of points at Gordon. Gordon says, whisper, 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 whisper. It's where, well, pretty much what he said is poison magic. And is, well, able to, yeah, use poison magic and kind of curse magic, uh, knowledge of his knowledge and all that. It's where, well, also says, I see. Then you'll be able to help us destroy anyone that will affect them with poison. He then points at Grey. Grey kind of mumbles, saying that she is able to transform people or transform herself into anyone. This guy's man, we'll see. <laughs> and this is where, well, also says, huh, that magic will be pretty strong if you can actually transform the atoms from people's bodies. So if they were hurt, you can probably heal them by kind of transforming those atoms into something else. Or just transforming them into renew atoms or whatever, or mostly atomic structure cells and all that. This is where Gray is shocked to understand that. And this is where she does think about it a little bit, but this is where she's still nervous most of the time. Of course, she's very grateful for the kind of knowledge that Asta gave her, but yeah. This is where, well, Asta says, but whatever. He then points at where Vanessa, Magna, and Luck. This is where Luck says, lightning magic. Magna says, fire magic. Vanessa says, string magic. That's what Asta says, okay. He then points at Charmy, and Charmy says, food magic. This is where Asta then points at the three Radies, Valen, and also Sally. Sally says, oh, uh, slime magic, or whatever the hell her magic was again. I think it was slime or slime, I don't remember. And this is where, well, Radies says, undead magic. This is where Valen says, spatial magic. Okay. <clears throat> That'd be good. Hmm. Hmm. Also now thinking really fast. This is where Asa then looks at Junko. And Junko's hair does go back to blondish and of course dull blue eyes. This is where Asa says, what about you? Junko says, sure. Emotion magic. Emotion manipulation magic. Why? This is where Asa says, I see. Hmm. So can you manipulate the magic of everyone to be kind of happy for a second? Wait, why? So if everyone was happy... They might be able to boost all their kind of hope and magic, or mostly not hope and magic, just boost their hope to thinking that we'll be able to have an increase of magic. Would that happen or whatever? She says, I have never actually tried that. I can try. 
This is where her grimoire kind of lights up with this yellowish glow. And of course, it kind of points at everyone, except for Asa, since Asa dodges it. This is where, well, uh, Joko's like, why did you dodge that? This is where, well, Nosh does kind of smile a little bit. Akka and the others also smile. They're kind of getting attacked also. Now, of course, Asa does know their magic, but yeah. Now, this is where, well, uh, Junko said, why would you dodge the magic? This is where, well, Asa says, I don't have any magic, so of course, it's ineffective for me. This is where, well, I can't smile and think at the same time being happy. So, everyone happy here? This is where they all say, yeah, we are. This is where, well, Asa says, good. Charming food. Charmy says, I got it. She's now much more quicker in making food and, of course, giving it to everyone. Everyone is now eating. Of course, her magic's already increased into Junko's, like, happy, kind of happy state of motion magic and all that. Of course, it worked. well, Junko wasn't affected because she's right now not trying to also be kind of happy. Instead, she just takes the food from Charmy and this is where, well, <clears throat> The bull is now a structure with a bunch of buildings, and of course, this bull has almost all the buildings that are not left behind, but yeah. This is where, where? Uh, Henry is saying, let's go, everyone's in the bull, and this is where everyone is now power, well, mostly letting, what's it called, uh, Henry is or some of their magic, so they can actually move and all that with the bull. So, of course, everyone is going, and this is where, well, Asa is right now calculating and seeing what's happening next. This is where, well, <clears throat> we go into a time skip of them kind of rushing through and beating up the elves. Now, of course, Asa doesn't have his anti-magic, so of course, mostly Asa doesn't do much. Mostly commands each and every one into attacking them and knocking the defense and then punching the shit in with the bull attack. But yeah, this is where, oh, Asa was mostly able to salvage a lot of people who were just knocked out and the elf managed to get the fuck out of their body. And of course... Some people that weren't actually controlled by the elves managed to also get into the bulls, or mostly into the giant bull, and come along with Asa. Mostly it was a bunch of like, well, different squads, like the purple orcas, the blue aqua deer, the uh, vermilion, not vermilion, uh, the fire, what's it? Wait, no, the fire, the crimson lions, the silver eagles, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. There's almost a bunch of people in there. This is where Asa is mostly the one commanding them into doing whatever. And of course, most of them all listen to Asta. Asta has this dangerous commanding aura around him, and everyone listens to him. Even though he's not truly their captain or even their vice captain, mostly all the squads are listening to him. Even those who are kind of noble, they get scared with Asta's presence. Because, well, Asta will murder you if you don't listen to him. This is where, well, Nosh is always next to him just in case anyone dares to attack him. Now, of course, he knows that Asa can actually defend us for himself because, well, he's only a disciple, but Nosh is just being protective. But yeah. This is where, well, Asa is saying, hmm, very interesting. This is where, well, they managed to get to the capital, and of course, the capital, well, everyone is right now fighting. Mostly, uh, Noel still managed to win in her Valkyrie armor, and this is where, well, Estef did help in freezing some, what's called, well, elves and all that. I managed to knock them out, but yeah. That's what, well, she's mostly with, what's it called, um, Estef is with, what, what's it called, uh, she's with, what's it called, Mariona. And Mariona is punching the shit out of these elves, while Estef freezes them so they wouldn't move any, well, anywhere. So, of course, Mariona can beat the shit out of them, but yeah. Mariona. He says, die to the elves. It's just smiling with the evil grin, but yeah. This is where the elves are right now just kind of doing the magic to kind of bring in the dark, uh, mostly the shadow castle. Of course, they still brought it out. And this is where, well, everyone's shocked to see it. This is where, well, the elf saints, we must get into the, what's it called, shadow castle. Poetry is still hurt from his arm, and this is where, well, uh, what's it called, um, Vector, or wait, well, yeah, Vector. Uh, Fauna, and even, what's it called, um, so, of course, the other dude, his name, Raya, so, Vector, or Vector, or whatever, and, uh, Fauna, and, uh, Raya then ask, what happened to poetry in his arm, poetry says, oh, I just got a mere cut from a human, nothing to worry about, it was only a mere cut, I say, is it, well, <laughs> all of them looked at him and says, okay, is it, well, 
they're all about getting to the kind of like shadow castle and all that until a giant bull appear at uh out of a portal and all that and this is where it was a bunch of spatial users kind of making a portal so they can just transfer like this giant bull and of course this is where the bull he then sends a drill punch straight towards what's it called well towards uh the giant platform this is where well the drill punch is actually being spinned around by way uh by wind magic users and also uh drill bush drill bush actually has a special um well what's it called a special magic tech that's called drill style it allows them to kind of just use drills and actually the movement of drills and all that so of course he's actually trying and saying ultra drill punch he sends the attack straight towards the platform. It smashes upon the platform, trying to hit the elves with the elf band to jump away. It doesn't work well. Uh, what's it called? Raya then asks, what's it called? Ghost the elf to kind of stop them. It's where Ghost the elf says, I see. Mary, or whatever her name is, says, I see. Then we will do. Uh, we will stop it, Raya. Raya says, good. All of us like to go in. So, of course, they all go in. This is where Asta jumps out of the kind of bulls and, well, I mean, jump out of the bull. This is where all of them are confused because they thought their commander was about to say something. Asta jumps down, appears right in front of Ghosh, and this is where Ghosh has Mary with him, and this is where he says, I will not let disgusting human like <laughs> He falls down to the ground. Mary is knocked out by, what's it called? The, well, not even by Asta, mostly, uh, what's it called? It mostly wasn't uh, Asa to knock out Mary, it was mostly Akka. Akka is the similar age of, well, and Mary because she's 9 also. That's where, well, Mary is knocked out by Akka and Akka says, I got this, uh, Sensei. This is where, well, Asa says, good. Then we're going into the uh, Shadow Castle. Tell the others mostly to stay out here. And also, Akka, I can't take you along with me. This is where, well, Akka says, I understand, Sensei. This is where, well, uh, Akka kind of tells everyone that's back in the pool to go out and protect the people and all that, or whatever. This is where everyone out, everyone that's from different squads decides to listen towards Akka, because they realize if they don't listen to Akka, then they're going to have to listen to Asta. And Asta's a very scary freaking person. So, of course, a bunch of people are just jumping out of their, uh, out of the pool, and of course, actually helping a lot of people. This is where you know you're shocked. Because Yuno didn't appear with the cavalry and all that. He actually was in what's it called? He did kind of go straight to the capital. <sighs> of course, Yuno sees this, and this is where Asa jumps off the platform platform and jumps into the kind of dark shadow castle. This is where everyone else kind of follows along, mostly the original canon people, but yeah. This is where Junko actually follows along and sees her sister Esther. This is where well, we go into Asta. Asta is falling down from the sky after appearing from the dark shadow castle. He lands down to the ground. Of course, it worked. well, he just lands perfectly. What he sees in front of him is none other than the guy who uses art magic. It's a, you know, a guy says, a human? You pathetic kind of beings dare to stop us? You think we will be stopped by you? He also says, oh my god, shut the fuck up for a second. This is what, well, the elf gets angry and says, I will kill you, you damn human. This is what Asa says, cool. You can try it and I won't care that much. This is where the uh, elf says, I'm going to. This is where, well, they hear uh, two screams. And, of course, mostly two people falling from the sky. And mostly one is, well, blondish hair. And the other is kind of goldenish, orangey hair. And this is where, well, they try to flap. Mostly one of them is trying to flap like a bird and all that. But realize they're not birds. And, of course, they smash upon Austin. And Austin say, wait, what the? Oh, God damn it. This is where, well. One of them uh, is right now on top, well, both of them are actually on top of Asa. One of them actually stood up and says, At least we landed perfectly fine, don't you think? Junko said, Junko said, Yeah, who did we? Oh, this is where they both get off of Asa, and Asa says, Oh my fucking god. Asa is kind of bleeding from his head and all that, and mostly from his nose because, well, Junko was kind of mostly on top of his head. And yeah, and Asa kind of had a kind of perverse blood nose. Just because, who wouldn't? But yeah. This is where Asa says, God damn it, can you people get off me? Also, how and why the hell did you people come out of nowhere? This is where, well, Junko says, uh, well, it's random, I guess. I went with Esther. Why am I here with you? This is where, well, uh, let's come, um, 
No, I'm not Noel. Uh, my mother says, I came with Noel. What? Why am I here with you, Junko san? I wasn't even near you. I don't know. This is what. Oh, the R2 says, Whatever, you humans, I will stop you all. This is where Asa says, No, you won't. <sighs> Triple air slash. This is where he swings three times up in the air and managed to hit the sky, and this guy is knocked out. Cut. <laughs> He's knocked the fuck out. Asa says, Whatever, I'm looking for where the main people are at. If you know couldn't defeat them, then that idiot can't do shit. But just be an idiot half the damn time. Asa just starts kind of walking away. This is where Momosa starts following along. Of course, this is where Momosa kind of stays out her... Kind of... Kind of complains with Asta. Why is he so rude? Why is he this? Why is that? Or whatever. And this is where Junko is just... They're sitting quiet. or mostly walking along quiet. This is where... Well... Asa looks at Noel. Or not Noel, mostly Momosa, and says, Look here, noble girl. I don't care in what you complain about. I just don't care. <sighs> Understand this. I never cared. Now, shush. I'm trying to sense him where they'll be at. That's where Momosa says, But you don't have any magic. How will you sense him? Asta looks at him with this... With this dumb... Kind of... Look in his face. This is where he says, I'm not going to answer that dumbass question. But all you gotta know... Is I am not normal. I'm not even from this country entirely, but fuck this place. God. That's where Asta starts just walking further away from them. That's where, well, both Momosa and Junko look at each other confusedly, but yeah. That's where, well, Asta is kind of looking around. He senses someone uh, upon him, well, in front of him. And this is where, well, the person in front of him, well, it was two people in front of him, appeared. And of course, it is, well, when someone flies past him, I'll see some dude that's knocked the fuck out, clocked in the face. And this is where, well, two people appear saying, huh? Asta? Asta say, Yami and Jack? What the fuck are you two doing here? Or most of you say Captain Yami, and, uh, don't know who, the, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, the Green Panther Master says, hey, I remember you, you brat. You don't remember me? I'm gonna cut you down. Now, Asta does know who what's it called Jack is. He just doesn't give a shit that much. This is what well, Captain Yami says. Ah, kid, why are you doing here? What are you doing here? Also, isn't that the Golden Dawn girl and uh, Junko? What are you doing here? Also, they say they both look at them confused and say we were just here looking around to find the main boss. This is what oh, uh, Yami says. I'm trying to sense him already with my fucking key. Uh, Asta. I'm just confused how you managed to find me. Yeah, I'm confused also. This is where Jack says, Hey, don't ignore me! This is where Asta says, Shut up. This is where Asta points his sword at, well, Jack, and even Yami, because they're quite annoying with Jack. This is where, well, Jack says, Yeah, I should cut you two down, shouldn't I? Asta says, Try to do that and I'll cut you into a hungry rivens. This is where, well, Jack laughs and says, Bring it on, you brat! This is where, well, Asta doesn't look too happy in his eyes and seems to be bored out of his mind. This is what, well, Jack says, you think that this would be some kind of walk in the fucking park? I'll show you what's a walk in the park. He rushes at Asta and this is where Asta fucking hits him in the face with a knee, well, must be a knee into the face. This is where Jack smashes into the wall and just right now knocked out. That's where Asta says, whatever. I think I found where they'll be at, the main people are at. This is where uh, you know, it's right now fighting against the devil and all that. The true devil and all that poetry is right now in transforming into a dark elf. But yeah, of course, the dark elf is was about to attack. Well, Raya, who is right now hurt in the ground, and this is where well, it says poetry. Let's snap out of your sins. This is where well, before poetry even walked forward, this is where poetry is now knocked the fuck out, not by Asta or even Yami. But by what's it called, uh, well, the three disciples. Mostly, uh, Nosh appears, uh, doing a fire wheel slash attack, which he managed to do that with his fire magic, and of course, knock out the poetry. That's where, uh, Bushro managed to just, uh, slam upon him. That's where Akka appears, kind of, just putting bandages around Riot. Riot says, like, What are you helping me for, human? Human girl. That's where Akka says, If you move one more time, I will. Make these bandages feel like hell. So don't move. This is where she has a creepy smile. This is where Raya is confused. Until he feels pain all over his body. Realizing that she is tightening up the bandages. If he doesn't shut the fuck up. 
That's what, well, she also says, if you screw, eek a little bit, or even feel like this saying of pain or whatever, I'll make them even tighter. That means that I'll crush your ribs into nothing but dust. That's where, well, P Araya looks at her with, please don't do that, because he feels the scary pressure over Akka and all that. This is where Nosh and what's called Bushiro just looks away. This is where, well, uh, Ryan then tries to ask for the other two kids, but they are looking away. Well, they look at him as, uh, in a, well, kind of pity at him. And this is where they look away, because Aku kind of glare at both of them. This is where both of them just look away, like, we are not seeing anything. This is where Ryan says, wait, no, please. But yeah, this is where we go into Asta finding where the devil's at fighting. It's you know, and was a car, the elf. That's where Lich. This is where, well. The first uh, Wizard King appears and even was called Nero. Nero is saying, I see. It's the devil. Does it work well? The devil is so annoying, you peasant humans. And else, I shall cut you off that. Atomic Slash. This is what well, Austin said. Right now, appearing right in front of, well, the uh, devil. This is where a hunger sashes appear. Cutting all of him around in ribbons. This is where, oh, he reformed back again and tries to attack Asta, saying, Swords! He sends swords at Asta, and this is where Asta slashes through the swords using his sword. Ching, 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 ching. But yeah, this is where Asta appears right in front of the devil trying to slash at him. This is where, oh, behind the devil, the slash as she cuts through the walk. Ching! This is where the devil says, What is annoying brat like you're doing here? Asta says, Who am I? Well, you can call me the fucking devil. But who knows about that? That's the word. Oh. The devil looks at what's called Asta. His name is Zagra, and of course he says, I'm going to end all humans. This is where Yami says, Dark Slash. Well, uh, Lightless Slash. This is where the devil realizes that he's getting hurt. And say, What? Dark Magic. Connection to the fucking underground. Fuck. <laughs> this is where, well, Jack is trying to rip him also to shreds by cutting his ass. And this is where, well, the devil just says swords again and does push what's it called Jack after saying, well, not saying swords, he says push and then uh, swords. This is where, well, Jack was almost hit by him, but yeah, mostly Yami managed to block the swords, but yeah. This is where, well, everyone is kind of like fighting against the devil, and the devil says, how? How would I lose to any of you? I won't lose to any of you fuckers. You think I will die? I won't die at all. I will win. I, I'm a fucking devil. You people won't be able to defeat me. That's where Junko and what's it called, uh, Mimosa. Mimosa is trying to heal Raya because they, well, Raya appear in just a bunch of bandages. Think of it like when Zoro appear in a cross of full of bandages thanks to Sanji, but yeah. Yeah, that's what Akka did. And of course, Bushiro is kind of like carrying what's called Raya. This is where, well, Momosa starts healing Raya, but yeah. This is where, well, the devil sends like this purple uh, kind of liquid straight down. And of course, some of them are kind of flying. Like Junko, who's right now in a form, kind of devilish swarm. And of course, the where, well, Zagrat noticed the kind of devilish swarm. Of course, this is where he can't really, well, stand up against, well, what's it called? Well, not stand up. He mostly is fighting against, uh, uh, what's it called? You know, Yami, Jack, the first Wizard King, Nero, and even what's it called, uh, the light user, like Lich. Of course, Purple Sludge from the underground appears. And of course, well, uh, not underground, underworld. And of course, this is where it starts spilling down to the ground and all that. And who is right now in ground level is none other than Asta and what's it called, Momosa. And even the three disciples. This is where, well, the three disciples are saying, Oh shit, what should we do, Captain? Or not, Captain, they say, uh, Sensei. That's what Asta says. Bushro. This is what Bushro says, on it. on it. That's what he says. Drilling tower! He makes a drill tower. Right now, it's just like a pillar and a drill being on top of it. And of course, it works. Well, it has these pointy kind of spikes uh, on the tower and all that. Well, mostly on the metal tower and all that. And this works. Oh. He can manipulate mostly what type of what's it called material he wants uh, the uh, what's it called stick to be. So yeah, he made it out of metal. That's where they all jump up, even kind of helping Momosa and Raya. But yeah, 
This is where I'm also saying, shit. This is where Asta, he didn't get on top of the, what's it called? Well, drill thing. This is where, oh, Anosh and what's it called? Aka and Drill says, wait, Ka uh, not Captain, Sensei. This is where Yami is right now standing on top of, well, the kind of wall. And of course, defining it from the fact of gravity. But yeah, using the darkness. Mostly to pull him towards the wall. But yeah, Jack is right now stabbing to the wall. And this is where, well, you know, says, Asta. This is where Asta sees the purple sludge. And this is where, well, the purple sludge smacks upon him. And this is where it doesn't affect him. This is where the double thought he managed to kill the brat. Asta says, does this guy think I'm really going to die that easily? Huh. Well, I should. This is where, well, before even stepping forward, it feels weird. Very weird. It's not the purple sludge actually hurting him or affecting him in any way. But just feels like he wants to murder the devil. He already had the feeling to murder and all that. But this time, it's this unbearable rage. This rage appearing around him. This is where, well, Asta for some reason blacked out. He didn't black out and fall down to the ground. He is just blacked out and standing there. This is where, well, we go into Asta's mind. This is where, well, he is kind of looking towards this darkness and sees this kind of white figure with these black horns and, of course, mostly a black figure and all that. And this is where, well, he has white skin and this is where, well, he looks to be the same height as Asta. See, I want to kill all the devils. That devil. I have a connection to to the Pharaoh. I'm going damn mad. I want to swear. Well, he stops for a second and looks forward, open his uh, opening his own eyes. This word, well, this person has reddish eyes and of course slit. And this word, well, he looks at Asa's eyes and this word Asa says, "Wait, I know." you are for some reason also has a flashback of someone he met when he was actually younger when he was still a baby but this is where well he remembers two figures mostly a girl with or mostly a woman with kind of whitish hair like similar way to whitish hair like his but bright green eyes and then uh, this other figure that has black skin and red eyes and white hair similar to his this is where well that's to say big brother Levy Libby looks at Asta, walks towards Asta, and says, It's really you. You got him bigger since the last time I saw you, Asta Coon. That's what Asta says. Chuh. Whatever. How, how are you here? Chuh. Idiot. I was always with you. Mother still me within you. You see here, she mostly had in a uh, three, uh, what's it called, a five leaf grimoire and sealed me in it, but also sealed the grimoire with you. So you always had a grimoire, you just never unlocked it. And right now, being in this kind of somewhat desperate situation, you seem to be very calm, but at the same time, you are panicking in your head a little bit. This is where, well, I'll just say, so what if I was panicking? I'm not. I'm not gonna give up. I'm a samurai. This what? Well, Levi smiles and says, "I guess you are." So, you do know about father's kind of, well, being a samurai. Mother knew about it. I knew about it a little bit. But you found out after kind of visiting the old house. Shouldn't it be? Asta says, "Yeah." So. Well, since I'm here, I can give you the grimoire, and also my magic. That's why I also say, didn't you have no magic? It's called anti-magic, you idiot. I also say, eh, that sounds cooler than normal. That's where Levi says, right? Then let's fucking do it then. That's where I also say, fine. That's where Asta kind of hugs his brother, who is Levi. He knows about it because when he was younger, he managed to hear it, and he didn't lose it to memory, so yeah. Of course, it worked well. We go into the outside. Asta is now into this black mode. Asta's eyes. One of them is open. And it's nothing but a reddish color. This is where the other side is kind of black. Now his hair does become black. This is where, well. If something appears from the grimoire of five leaves. Appear right in front of him. 
And it was not the Demon Slayer. No. What appeared right in front of him was a sewer. A katana, mostly. It was Khan. It was a katana that was actually completely different. It did have a sheath and all that. And of course, this is where it was kind of... The blade was actually black. Very smooth black. It wasn't rusted like any anti-magic weapon that would be in the grimoire. Also was confused, but he felt like he should grab it. This is where... Well... Uh, uh Libby was actually on top of, uh, next to him, next to his shoulder most of the time. But yeah, of course, this is where, well, I was to say, how is this, what is this sword? Libby says, this was our kind of father's sword. He, he was able to use it. <coughs> <coughs> from Lich uh, from Lichia, um, she magically told me that, well, our father was a strong samurai, warrior and all that. But... He was unrivaled by any other one, any other person. He used to be able to use two katanas, but he decides to leave one katana that's in the sun country. And this katana was the one that he uses before he passed away. I was to say, what is it called? It's called the moon sword. This is where, well, also pulls the blade out of it and it does kind of have like this grayish kind of color. And this is where, well, the sheath that had a moon texture, kind of like moon design on it, but yeah. This is where, well, Austin says, interesting. This is where he feels a rush of power, and this is where it's mostly him using the moon katana. This is where, well, Austin says, what is this? This is the moon power. Of course, you have the anti-magic power. This is the moon power that comes with the katana. And since you're the only other kamikaze who's right now able to wield it, you'll be able to wield it. I would, if anyone else was able to wield my power, they would not be able to use this katana because it's only specialized to those who are, well, the lineage of the kamikaze. That's what Asa says, I see. Then let's do this, Libby. Libby says, got it. Libby was kind of, well, Asa didn't transform yet into Black Asuma, but of course, it went, well, he did. And this is where he shot up from the purple sludge. When, uh, what's it called, Yuna was actually about to get hit by a, what's it called, like a trident, a kind of dark trident from the devil. The devil says, die, brat. This is where, well, something shot up from the sky, rushing at the devil in high speeds, and the devil had to dodge, but had to block an attack slash from, well, Asta. This is where, well, he didn't dodge, and his arm was ripped off of him. This is where he says, what the hell? This is where he tries to regen his uh, arm, but realizes he can't. Because Austin's right now, his other sword, mostly the kind of, uh, not Wazashi, his main sword that he has right now, not the moon sword, is kind of, well, the moon sword is right now glowing with this power of unrivaling everyone. It's kind of this whitish, bluish color like this one. It's not the sun blade, if you know what the sun blade is. It's the moon blade. And of course, it's where, well, Austin's other sword is right now crackling with dark energy, right now being anti-magic. This is where Austin is right now in his mode, black mode Austin. This is where, well... Asta says, well, it's time to hit the road. Well, start this show in the road and all that other stuff, right? This is what, well, this devil says, what? Shouldn't you be dead or something? This one Asta says, uh, no. That Wonderworld shit doesn't actually affect me. But you can die with me. This is what, well, Asta rushes at what's it called, the devil. The devil sends swords at Asta. This is where Asta's moon sword trips through all of them. Just one slash rips through all of them, almost hitting the devil. And both Asta and the devil are right now clashing and fighting. This is where, well, it's mostly a one-sided clash and fight because the devil can't really get hit by any of those slashes. And Asta is right now easily cutting through half the devil's weapons and other things. The devil says, push back! He tries to push back Asta. And Asta was about to get pushed by the magic and all that. But this is where Asta's anti-magic around him. He kind of uses anti-magic with key. To kind of make a force spell around it to stop it. This is where Asa rushes at the devil. Devil right wide in his eyes. This is what Asa says. <sighs> Unholy divine X clash or X slash. This is where oh, Asa right now swings both of his swords down like an X. And this is where he slashes at the devil, hitting his heart. The devil goes, Turn. How is that possible? Asa turns around with his moon sword. And this is where he rips through the devil in half. This is where, well, the whole fucking, well, 
uh, tower is actually almost destroyed. Like the whole castle was destroyed with the moon blade. The moon blade is still glowing with so much power, unrivaling anything. Here's the word. Well, two people went. Well, not two people. Mostly Yami is just his mouth is like dropped down to the fucking ground. He is shocked. What Asa is holding is something that he only heard in legends from his family. In legends, he fucking is just shocked. Because you see here, if you don't know, the Yami Yami's from a clan that he massacred like Itachi did to his own clan. Now, if you haven't read that manga or mostly that manga chapter, then rip you. I spoil it. Who cares? Of course, he thought that sword that Asa's holding was only in legend, but Asa's wielding it like it's nothing. It's nothing to him. The sword, Asa, he's coming down. Of course, the sword, well, uh, the purple sludge is still like falling down because Asa did cause a lot of destruction. But of course, the sword, well, uh, multiple people that are still like underneath are actually teleported, and of course, the sword, well, they are actually leaving. Now, of course, we go into the outside. Of course, this is where the elves are still going wild. That's what I was to say. For fuck's sake, they're still not knocked out. Fine, fuck it. I'll defeat them my way. This is where Asta, he then sees so the car, uh, Levi pop out of nowhere and says, Wait, wait, you know what we can do? This is where, well, uh, Levi says, You, 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 the dark magic user. This is where, huh? Mostly his power train all that? Power train say, Me? Yeah. Aren't you some incarnation elf with another body and all that? This is where, well, he says, yeah, uh, Williams. Use his tree magic? I can't. Oh, for fuck's sake. The only reason Levy knows about what's called poetries and, well, Williams and all that is because, well, he was the only one that was with Asta. And, of course, could see from Asta's eyes. He just never talked to Asta just for the one reason that Asta wasn't needing help that much. He was only there just to help him if he was ever in danger. In that situation, he wasn't in danger that much. He just wanted to help out his brother. His younger brother. But yeah. That's what, well, he kind of did read on some things about like the kingdom and all that. And of course, Libby does. Well, is a little bit smarter than us. So of course, this is what, well, he does talk about William and all that. That's what, well, Yami says, yeah, that is true. That's what, well, the, well, not the elf. Mostly what's it called? Or no, uh, Libby didn't know about this, and of course this is where the elf decides to leave what's it called, uh, not, uh, what's it called, poetry, decides to leave what's it called, William's body, and Lib uh, William was managing to able to use tree magic. Of course, this is where, well, he does make tree magic, the world tree and all that, and this is where, well, uh, he then asks what's it called, uh, Lich, the actual Lich, to use the sword, or somehow bring them into a car. And that's why he says, that will be kind of impossible. It's like you need to somehow erase the, what's it called, reincarnation spell. And I don't think that's able to, that's where Asa grabs the sword. That's where Libby does go into the sword right now, transforming into anti-magic sword. And this is where Asa stabs a tree. The tree is right now turning black and red. And this is where, well, the sword, well, managed to destroy the incarnation thing. Also, just for some reason, got that as an instant to do, but fuck it. That's where Asa then throws the sword back towards Libby. Or not Levi, Lich, and Lich is confused. And this is where Asa says, well, not the point. There, the reincarnations are gone now. This is where, well, Lich says, I see. Well, I must be going. Sorry about you three. You three can't come with me. This is where, well, Vector, uh, what's called, Fauna, and even uh, Raya are just shocked and sad, but they understand. Of course, this is where, well, <laughs> Poetry is still revived by Radies because Radies is still pissed. But yeah. Asta is, doesn't really care that much about anything. And of course, he looks at Yami trying to take his moon sword from him. And that's what Asta says. What are you doing? That's where, oh, well, uh, Yami says, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. You want to trade Katanas? Asta says, fuck no. That ain't happening. I know what you know about this Katana. And, uh... You're going to have to tell me all the stories because, well, I have no clue about this katana. So, yeah. Yami says, damn. If I tell you the stories, can I have the katana? Also says, uh, Libby, can he even be able to hold it? I know he's from the dark clan of what they call the sun, um, sun country. Will you be able to hold it? 
Maybe say, the fuck? No. He will implode with the energy of power. He needs to be a kamikaze clan member. If he's not, then he's going to implode with power and die. This work. Yami says, wait. Those true. Those legends are true? Wait. If, if the moon's blade is real and the one blade that you have is the moon blade, does that mean that sun blade is real? Asta says, I'm going to have to go to the sun country to go get it. This is what, well, Yami says, well, good luck in that. I don't actually remember how to get there. Asta says, you're a jerk. Fuck. How am I going to get there and get the sun blade? How am I going to be unparalleled power? Fuck. How am I gonna make my father proud? Also falls down to the ground. Right now exhausted because yes, the moon blade does take a lot of energy. Even though it has an unparalleled power, he's exhausted. He passes out by falling to the ground and just going to take a fucking nap. Yeah, that's where Yami says, great, gotta pick him up. That's where Levi transforms into kind of a humanoid figure and kind of pick up, uh, well, Asa from his arms and all that. And, of course, where Yami picks him up from his legs and starts just dragging his ass. But, yeah. But, yeah. The only, the only way Levi can do this is because he is, well, he's been fused with Asta for a while. He's been sealed with him. But, pretty much, it's not sealed. It's mostly just been with him for a while. He could have done it after, well, just mentioning a while. But, yeah. Now, of course, Levi is his own person. He doesn't really need to go into a grimoire, but he can go in, but whatever. This is where, well, uh, they just bring Austin back into the Black Bulls, but yeah, what's the Black Bull hideout? The next day happens, and of course, this is where, well, the kingdom can't really blame Austin because, well, Austin's going to murk them if they say shit, which they do. They say stuff to Asta when Asta is in court because Asta was tired and he managed to get kidnapped by some fucking royals and all that, and that's where Asta didn't give a shit twice and says... Tent, atomic, slashes. This is where, well, instead of doing a hunger slashes, it'd be a thousand slashes. And this is where he cuts down all the royals and whatever nobles that were in that court. Even Kira, Kira and Kira didn't care. He used the moon blade, by the way. He he murdered them all in an instant. In a fucking instant. He then passes out from the drain of energy, but yeah. Since, yes, the moon blade does have a tool on your body. It has an incredible, it gives you incredible power, but it gives you a massive amount of just drain power. But yeah, this is where, well, Asa gets back to the village after a while. They're just sleeping on people's dead bodies, but he just didn't care. He just gets back to, he just goes back to the village. But yeah, of course. Now, let me mention one thing. Yes, if you haven't really heard about this, there is caught, well, <clears throat> Since I am kind of basing Asta on Kamikaze from One Punch Man, well, that's his name, his actual name, Kamikaze, but his uh, hero name is called Atomic Blade, or Atom Atomic Samurai. Yes, Asta's going to be similar like Atomic Samurai, but in this world, Atomic Samurai is actually like a legend, was able to hold two blades called the Sun and Moon Blade. Now, of course, he was unpalatable rivalry and would, was not able to be defeated by any other samurai in this world. Which he was, he lived more longer than, well, what's it called the first Wizard King, but yeah. He was, yeah. This is where, well, Asta, like I mentioned, was a descendant of samurais. Asta is actually the descendant of, well, the atomic samurai, the original kamikaze, well, samurai, meaning he's the original, uh, atomic. Atomic Samurai user. Of course, Asa's father was able to also hold both the blades, but he could hold both the blades. Just there was a problem. It kind of killed him after a while, but yeah. That's why he left one of the sun blades in the Land of Sun and had one of the uh, blades called Moon Blade. But yeah. Of course, it worked well. If you, if you know the Sunblade in the manga, then you know how powerful it is. But yeah. And uh, how much of a negative it does to your body, but whatever. Not the point. Let me go back into the water friend. Let me shut up. But yeah. Of course, uh, Asta does go back to the village and just sits there and not care and sleep. But yeah. But for now, I'm going to end it off here for, well, part, well, kind of. Four of this what if 
because part three was kind of a dud, but not the point. Yeah, part four. But other than that, have a potato day, potato night, potato day, potato, potato, and good night. Bye. But yeah, bye.